Hello everybody, I'm Sneezy Gamer, and welcome back to the Resident Evil 4 Remake. Now, in the last episode, we left off after I had been trying for over an hour to get through this cabin part, because I was dumb and did not conserve ammo and healing resources. So, like the number one rule of Resident Evil games, and I did it wrong. But, um... I was getting to the point where I think I'm going to get it pretty soon. Because the only other option is to restart the... from the last save in the previous chapter, which would have been before I even fought the giant thing, I think. Or it might have been after that. Even there, I don't know that I would have the ability to conserve healing stuff, so I might just be screwed here. You know what? Sometimes my glasses don't really help me that much when I'm doing stuff up close like this. work. Nice. Yeah. Not only did he save him, he got a headshot too.
I am consistently getting to the last section there more, so that's definitely improvement from yesterday. <laughs> Entry points for them are here, here, or I guess here, over here somewhere, and here. Would it work better? Because I've been boarding off of this one, and then they can only come in from this other side of the house. Would it work better to board off this one and then I stay up here on the stairs and I can take them out as they're coming through this window? That gives me a bit more of a choke point to kind of funnel them in more. And then he's only got to deal with one window there, but... As we can see, he's still having trouble with just the one window, so... <laughs> I'm I think I'll try that. Give that a try, see if that works.
shut up, we'd be good to go. What's good? at the moment.
Got it. Oh, sorry. There we go. Fucking made it. <laughs> I knew it was just a matter of time. I just... I did not have enough resources to do that easily. <laughs> Glad it's over though. I think that is probably the most intense part of this game. Like boss fights are rough and stuff, but I think that is the worst part in this game. What's happening to me? Ashley, is this the first time you've coughed on blood like this? Do you want to start explaining? The cough, the blood, is caused by something called a plaga. You saw those people, right? But you have the same thing inside you. The same thing that made them like that. These, what you're experiencing, these symptoms, they're only the beginning. I don't want to become like them. You are, well, lucky. You see, at this early stage, the parasite, the plaga, it is possible to remove it with the surgical procedure. All you need is some know-how. Know oh, yeah. The right equipment. Wait, you two? No worries. <laughs> What's going on See? with her jacket? <laughs> but you're going to have to trust me. <laughs> Great. We're partners then. Hey, why are you No time for any questions. The clock is ticking. Why are you helping us? Because it makes me feel better. Let's leave it at that. We'll contact you later. <laughs> Something's going on with her cult there. <laughs> Death's a new record. What? It must be referring to hardcore, because there's no way I died six times on more than six times on that in my other playthrough. He was complete shit in that chapter, but oh well. Now see, I was hoping I could get through that part before without having to upgrade the shotgun because we're replacing it really, like, immediately after this. <laughs> I do. The kind you like. Now where's the amber? Fortunately, it's not on me at the moment. And you really should be telling me... What a good job I did. Busted my ass and managed to hide it right before I got caught. Which... Is why I'm still alive! The deal was... We get you out of here when you deliver the amber. No amber, no protection, Luis. <laughs> Such a stickler for details, huh, Ida? Okay, then. I'll go get it now, how about that? <sighs> and I do have something else I need to get, too. This 
is Roost. I've got some bad news, Condor One. With the weather like this, the chopper can't make its approach. Can you stand by until it clears? Negative. Too dangerous. We're gonna get out of here and find someplace safe. I'm sorry. I wish I could do more to help. Don't worry about it. We'll swim home if we have to. Condor One, out. <laughs> Let's go. Now she's like, we'll swim home? What? <laughs> Hey, all I left behind was some money. That's what's gonna happen to me. Right now. Let's just focus on getting out of here. Yeah. Right. Something I think you like. Merchant tip a midnight stroll. Whoever seen those nasty guys with the tentacles sprouting out of their heads? Not only are they dangerous, but they're a pain to kill too. They do have a weakness though. They absolutely hate bright lights like the sun. That's why you won't see them out during the day. So if you ever go for a walk during the night, it'd be wise to keep some flash grenades handy. Hell, I keep a couple on me at all times. You can make some yourself using the recipe I am selling if you're interested. Welcome. I've got something new for you, mate. Why not try your hand at a new gun, stranger? I'd say you Gun Red nine stock is definitely something I want. <laughs> Thank you. Ah, that there's a real boomstick, mate. It will reduce your target to a bloody pump. I don't always have this in stock, stranger. Is new. There you are, as you wish. Anything come back. Precision and shot grouping, Anytime. which is very helpful with the Rep 9. the defenses. This is direct order from Lord Sadler himself. Convert the area beyond 
this plank into a defensive position so that no intruders may pass. I am willing to make any and all sacrifices for the sake of the righteous faith. My devout believers, build me an impregnable fortress and make sure any heathen foolish enough to tr trespass pays for their wicked sins in blood. Spread out. Got it. With me. Hit the wrong button. Uh, okay.
I kind of want to try something, but I don't know if it's a good idea. Hold still. Okay, should be good. Thanks. Yeah, I read that, that she doesn't ask you to help her and she will get out on her own, but you can ha if you get over there, you do have a prompt to help her. I just wanted to see if that was true or not, I guess. <laughs> of atonement that one can be pretty valuable when you fill it up We're doing it this way then. Actually, I should hold on to those red barrels. The purple ones are pretty rare too, actually. I'll do one of each. That's a decent, decent value and it's not using up all of my rare gems either. Okay, you're good. Damn it. Okay. Come on. Okay. Sure is quiet. Yeah, especially considering we just heard somebody. It looks like I need something.
it's always nice when it does, when it kills them like that. One shot and they're done. us up here because we've got a fight coming up. It's not terrible, but it's not an easy fight. At least in this part, they give us the option to have Ashley hide, because that would that would be a fucking nightmare to try to deal with that. And that's the last place we get that way shrine key. I get it, but at the same time, it's like, look, I'm trying to protect you. To stay there. <laughs> if I'm telling you to stay in there, I've got a very good reason for it. <laughs> can also have her hide in this one down here, but it...
so is yours. I am flattered, but I'm a one lady type of guy. There you go. Then once it's over, she comes out of the locker on her own. <laughs> I do like the guy's comment though. I am flattered, but I'm a one lady kind of guy. <laughs> Even in a situation like that, he's got to be a smart ass. <laughs> okay, I got everything. That actually went pretty well, mostly because I knew what to expect. <laughs> This isn't your first time running from creeps. I can't tell if that's meant to be a compliment. If it is, what the hell kind of a compliment is that, Leon? <laughs> Gee, you must get chased by creeps a lot, huh? <laughs> Up. 
one shot of making shotgun ammo. Ah, there we go. <laughs> oh, and it made two extra. Awesome. It's almost it's almost like they're trying to be nice to me. Okay. Why is the bridge not exploding? <laughs> Yeah, if he grabs her there, it's instant game over. <laughs> Listen, you're the one he wants. If we see him again, you run. But what about you? I'll do my job. No trespassing. Tell what that says underneath that. You have the stench of battle on you, mate. Welcome. Ooh, what are you buying? Ruby's all rubbish. It makes no difference, stranger. I'll pay a pretty penny for that. There's some things money can't buy. Crossing your T's, dotting your I's, that's the way to be. Try that on for size. See how that feels, mate. Fella like yourself should notice the difference. Right away. Try that on for size. Got a selection of good things on sale. Come back anytime.
water always. Be careful. Leon! Cease your pointless struggling. Abandon your body to the will of our God. You're a shitty missionary. You know that. Oh, Almighty. Grant me the strength to crush your enemies. Son of a bitch. Ashley, run! Okay. <laughs> Yeah, I don't like it here. We don't see any sort of transformation. He just he's instantly changed. You want to get ugly? Let's get ugly. I don't have a knife. Why am I down here? No.
swinging those things. Okay, let's try that again, shall we? days are over. knocked me into the fire. <laughs>
I resist because I do not want to be like you. <laughs> Guess your tap dancing days are over. God, that was way too close. <laughs> My regards to your god. Leon, hurry! <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> Thanks. Fire's bound to catch their attention. Let's keep moving. Uh, Leon, I'm not gonna turn into one of them, right? I won't let that happen. I promise. Please. 
Please tell me. There's not even a green herb around here. Oh, shit, I had these. Jesus Christ, I thought I was out of healing supplies. And now we move on to the castle. What's going on? Well, at least we don't have to worry about being followed. Come on. No, but I think I would rather go back and face the villagers with the stuff up ahead, so... <laughs> Here. You guys still around? Well, I wanted to go home, but Ashley just had to see this castle first. <laughs> Perfect, because I have a present I want to give you. Medicine that will help to suppress the progress of your problem. Where do we go? Let's see. Come to the courtyard inside of the castle. We can meet up there. Ciao. <laughs> All right, Ashley. Luis just said. I got it. Guess we better get going. I love that, but Ashley just had to see this castle. <laughs> Handgun for you. With so many handguns available, choosing the right one for you can be tricky. Lucky for you, we've compiled a list of the special characteristics of, oh, of four stellar choices. Punisher. This one has brilliant stability and penetration power. A laser sight can be mounted onto it too, making it a very versatile weapon. Red 9. This gun delivers a lot of power, but it kicks like a horse. Keep it reined in by attaching the stock. Blacktail, a great gun ideal for quick shooting. Its compact size also helps free up inventory space. Matilda, out of stock. It's a bit unremarkable on its own, but attaching the stock lets you suppress the enemy with three round bursts. Take a look. Welcome. I got something new for you. All my wares are in tip-top shape, I assure you. 
your valuables won't do you much good in the grave. you see is what I've got. I'll hand this over when you've got the space. I see you have an eye for things. Gun's not just about shooting, it's about reloading. You'll know what I'm talking about. Go on, take this as well. Free of charge. We've been saving that one. Right, custom. Give that the care it deserves, mate. This kind of work is about finesse, stranger. Little bit goes a long way. You'll see. If you want, we're starting to get an idea of your tastes, friend. Will that be all, then? Killing me. Years haven't been kind to us, I suppose. All kinds of trinkets. Now I've seen in I've watched a couple of people play through, and everybody always wants to trade to get this. After a little bit later, and just How a little while after this, you can purchase those <laughs> upgrades. Don't after finishing upgrading the weapon and I don't see why you would use the things that can be used to purchase stuff you can't buy with money to buy Got something you can buy with Could money later on. I just don't see why you would want to spend a limited resource on something that you can get with a much less limited resource later on. <laughs> are gonna roll out the red carpet. Crossbows, huh? Something tells me they don't want to be friends. What is that? I'm guessing it's not for decoration. <laughs> Things just keep getting better. Can actually see them from here, huh? How do I already have one of the? Oh, cause I got the thing behind there. I 
wonder if I could actually draw their attention if I shot at them or something. If it would actually make them come and attack me. Those ones too can be killed with a single <laughs> fucking flash grenade. <laughs> that is so helpful. I really wish I had known that in the original. Because in this one, they actually tell you that. I never saw anything that would indicate that in the original. Unless I just missed something that told us that. But I never saw anything that told you, that even hinted at it. I love that she does that. I absolutely love that she does that. She like does a fist pump if you hit something like that. <laughs> This is their idea of a warm welcome.
Really? They leave themselves wide open for that when they grab her. Really, Leon. <laughs> you can disable a catapult by killing the enemy that is operating it. No shit. <laughs> There's nobody there to operate it. Of course it ain't gonna fire anymore. <laughs> I guess this is their idea of a warm welcome. I mean, it's fire, so it's warm. Fucker. 
forgot about that guy. Quite a drop, but she makes it. That's all the catapults. Actually, no, I want to leave one of them. Because I don't know when I'll get the next one. So I'll do it like that. I like the items stay around longer than they did in the original, because sometimes after a fight you didn't have, unless you were running around picking things up throughout the fight, you didn't have the time to collect stuff afterwards all the time. A lot of times it would just be gone by the time you could even collect it. for that. Firing again. I think it was called overkill or something like that. We're using a cannon All to right. kill one of them. That went well. I'll have a warning next time. Let me see. Hmm. 
Okay, yeah, I need to have that one. Overkill, yep. There's a cannon to defeat a zealot. <laughs> you actually get two chances to do that. Or at least there's two places where you... Two cannons where you'd be able to do that is what I mean. Is it down there? I bet you anything it's down there. Oh. It is, but it's on the other side. Here, I know there is in the original. Nope. Okay. Now. It's time to move on. And head inside. There's another merchant coming up right away in here, so I'll just go to this one. Wow. Look at this place. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it is a really, really cool looking place. A job well done deserves payment. with a bullet there mate yep <laughs> ruby's all rubbish it makes no difference the I price guess so. well that's our a deal well struck <laughs> better to be over prepared am i right good luck to you stranger there you are that gives us an additional level of zoom. Not sure what the whole point of these upside down statues on the chandeliers is, but whatever.
Yeah, we won't be able to get this one or this one for a while. The other two we can get pretty soon, but... Oh, I hate the way he looks in this one. To my castle. He looks fucking nasty in this one. Make your acquaintance, Mr. Kennedy. <laughs> Who the hell are you? Me? Oh, please, call me Ramon. And allow me to get straight to the point. I don't How like, like him. To hand a girl there. I don't or like him in me. this one either. I didn't like him in the other one, but especially yeah, not chance, here. Ramon. The girl's just fine with me. Mr. Kennedy. Mr. Kennedy. How noble. Nonetheless, you see, a girl must be ours. With a girl as the very source, your United States, and then the entire world shall overflow with his grace. But that is the iron will of my master, the most holy, Lord Sadler. So then, you will comply, yes? <laughs> Never! You heard the lady. How unfortunate. <laughs> Do make sure our guest feels at home, now that he has chosen death. <laughs> he looks like his face is cracking and falling Leon? apart and shit. Just stay close. He looks like a porcelain doll that's been dropped one too many times. <laughs> Watch out! Shit. Nothing to say about the about the people I just killed right next to you. Okay. <laughs> Not sure if I would call them people, but you know, whatever they are. one point but kind of not anymore are they and of course obviously we can't just walk through this door locked there's got to be another way to get to the courtyard come on okay need you to open it from the other side. It's open. Thanks.
Looks like we can continue on this way. Be careful. Caretaker's note, I was awoken in the middle of the night once again. It's those awful noises coming from the basement, the sounds of nails clawing at the stone walls, and the writhing moan of curses. That man harbors enough hate to ruin this world. He once served, uh, served the lord of the castle as the torturer, like his father and grandfather before him. It's one of the more unsightly legacies left by the Salazar family. Even among his family, he was special. He enjoyed his work wholeheartedly and had a talent for it. He was gifted at tormenting others. His ability soon attracted the master's interest, and when he took him to the dungeon... No, I can't write anymore. I won't. I don't want to recall what happened down there. My mind can't take it. It will break me. I was ordered to attend to him, to feed him, dispose of the filth, all while listening to that wretched voice every night. I can't take it anymore. I've had enough. I will not tolerate one more night of, in this castle. I shall leave tomorrow, go far away, where that voice cannot reach my ears. None shall escape. There's a challenge for killing one of these guys with a knife, which is what I did the first time I fought this guy. It was actually not as bad as you would think.
careful not to bump these chains while we're trying to avoid him. That's why we can't just leave. When there's a destructible environment, I have to break the stuff. <laughs> was there anything back where he was? Nope. Okay. Yeah, see, the reason you can't just leave is because... No matter how you do this, you'll keep at you'll keep hitting that chain. I mean I'm sure it's probably possible to do it without killing him, but I don't know why you would. But yeah, killing those guys with a knife is actually not that hard to do. tell her about the horrible shit that we encounter. <laughs> the less she knows about what we see in these places, the better, most likely. <laughs> Usually another one of those wind-up dolls in here on top of one of these things. If I remember correctly, it's yeah, right there. tell by the way she's saying things like for now when you ask if she's okay you can tell she's worried about becoming one of those things can't blame her though Wow. 
one thing that I do have to say I loved about Resident Evil 4 that wasn't in the previous games is a separate a separate uh, inventory for your key items so they don't take up space in your inventory. Iron sword. We need to place these in the right place. It's rusted sword. Golden sword. So, iron goes here. The golden sword would be the king or ruler or whatever who's got the golden sword knighting him. Rusted sword will go on the grave. And then there's another one in here. Say or not. This is one of the times where she's actually useful. <laughs> I don't mean that in a bad way, I mean, but she actually. And you could bring those there. arms by shooting them. Yep. So we need to get the bird and the snake. There's multiple snake ones. Weird. I wonder why that is. <laughs> this artwork doesn't it look like it's telling some kind of story yep and there she is again she's actually giving you hints to the to the puzzle and then in combat the sword is bloody oh. You did, you figured the whole thing out yourself too, basically. I mean, she figured out what was going on at least. She didn't solve the puzzle, but she figured out what the puzzle was. <laughs> nice! <laughs> And slashed it right out of the air. Nice. about something. Leon, what are you doing? Don't even think about trying this yourself. <laughs> Bad Yeah, 
actually knocks the ladder down for you. Thanks. Leon, are you kidding me? Jumping across chandeliers, seriously, who does that? <laughs> what are you, my mother? So we've got this one and a snake. Was there a snake on this side? in a different place in this difficulty. It is. Leave this one to me. Don't leave me. That's cool that she is actually developing as a character like she's becoming less <laughs> um how do I say this politely? Less useless. <laughs> but she's actually becoming more, more helpful and less timid and stuff. And I think that's actually really cool that they did that. Like you can actually see her character progressing. <laughs> Gun rhymes with fun for a reason, stranger. <laughs> Welcome. What can I interest you in? Your valuables won't do you much, thank you. Not bad. Crossing your T's, dotting your I's, that's the way to be. We're starting to get an idea of your tastes, friend. Will that be all, then? Come back yeah, any time. Might as well go up and actually open this thing over here before I end this one. Apparently, if you shoot that, it'll make him stop talking. Congratulations, Mr. Kennedy. Are you ready to hand over the girl? Not this guy again. I'm taking the liberty of preparing some entertainment for you. <clears throat> Without further ado, the gallant knight protects the princess bear. Ugh. Yeah, I'd be saying, oh, too, if he just called me fair. <laughs> Don't blame her for being grossed out by that one. Parasites in their ecology, volume 2. There are some parasites that have the ability to control their hosts. This is basic knowledge among most biologists, but not much is known as to how the parasites do it. The following is a list of several such parasites. Dicro 
Dicrocalium. I don't know. Once the larvae of this parasite migrate to the ant's esophagus, they alter the behavior of the ant. When the temperature drops in the evening during peak grazing hours, the infected ant climbs to the top of a plant and clamps onto a leaf using its mandible with the intention of being eaten. Galactosomum? Galactosomum? I don't, osomum, I, I, I don't know. The larvae of this parasite make their home inside the brain of a fish, such as the yellowtail and the parrot bass. Once infected, the fish make it, makes its way up to the water's surface, where it will swim until eaten by seabirds. Leucochloridium. This parasite's sporocysts develop in the snail's eye stalks. Where they pulsate like worms. Where they pulsate like worms. They alter the snail's behavior and force it to move to the top of a plant to make it more visible to birds. Once eaten by a bird, the parasite will complete its metamorphosis into an adult. <sighs> okay. Well. That is going to be it for this one. Thank you everybody for watching. I hope you enjoyed. And as always, I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.